As the world continues to mine the earth, industry continues to release mercury into the air and into our oceans. Once it gets to the ocean, there's little bacteria that methylate that mercury and convert it to methylmercury. That's the organic and toxic form of the chemical that's eaten by the smallest marine life. Mercury is an element that accumulates through the food chain, so the larger and the higher up an animal is on the food chain, the more likely it is to have more mercury. That buildup is called biomagnification, and sharks are on the top of the ocean's food chain. Shark meat and shark fins are in high demand. Nearly 100 million sharks are killed each year, often just for their fins. Shark fin soup is a delicacy in many parts of Asia, and the most lucrative market is in Hong Kong. We know that at least 80 countries export fins to Hong Kong, and there are very big volumes of fins being moved every day. FIU's shark researchers had been collecting fins from the Hong Kong markets for years. And they go to the retail markets in the dried seafood district, and they collect what's called fin trimmings. Originally collected for genetic analysis, they also ended up supplying 260 samples for the mercury testing. The legal limit of mercury set by Hong Kong is 0.5 parts per million. FIU's research shows levels in some sharks as high as 100 times that. Those are concentrations that the Food and Drug Administration considers extremely dangerous. High levels of mercury consumption can damage the brain and central nervous system and interfere with fetal development. We want for consumers to know that shark fin soup is not good for their health. We want to push for better labeling that kind of explains to consumers that there's associated potential health risks with shark fin. Some species were especially dangerous. Great hammerheads were very, very high in mercury, and they're also one of the most expensive fins in the market. So we're kind of pushing for a more species-specific information for the consumers. But there's also a focus on much-needed conservation. We hope that this will further drive the demand for shark fin soup down, and that would help shark populations to recover.